Hello all, hope you're having a grand weekend, it's no respawn. So, I've decided to take a break from getting angry at how boring a settlement dog bunker hill is to actually try something new. So we're in Kingspot Lighthouse, which obviously is a settlement I've wanted to do for ages. It's probably one of the coolest settlements actually in the game, and for whatever reason, I've just never really done anything. To be fair, one of the reasons I've held off is because up until prior to mods. There's a dead body inside, which I was never able to get rid of, but that's not really an excuse, to be utterly honest, because we've had mods for almost a year now on PS4, but I just haven't gotten around to doing it. So this video, I'm, I'm using Ant Aslam's Junk Walls mod, and I'm put, gonna put that in the description, because the entire video is me basically playing around with this mod. One, because it's been updated with loads of new funky weird shit, as you can see, but also, I've wanted to use this mod to wall off a settlement completely for a while. One, because I'm kind of slightly running out of settlements to all off at this point. I've nearly done all of them. There are only a few less. I, even if I haven't done the tours for them, I've basically mostly done, like, I think there are a couple of them left. And this is one of them. So, w what I wanted to do, normally I avoid using, like, just this mod on its own. I try and mix it in with a lot of my other stuff, and I'm still doing that a little bit to this one. But I kind of wanted to see how the mod fares in terms of just walling off an entire settlement, because it is a very, very cool mod. For those of you who don't know, Aslam does some great mods, possibly more. I probably need to do a search and see what other mods they have. But the two I use are this one, which is the Junk Walls, and then the Workshop Decoration Pack, both of which basically are just bespoke collections of kind of cars, walls, and junk, and all that jazz that you just can't do on console. Uh, for example, as you can see, there are lots of, it says, using Aslam's junk walls, and then I just use a, a standard, a standard junk fence. Um, but yeah, no, basically, so there's loads of cool stuff. Now, I like merging it with other mods, but I also wanted to kind of wall off a settlement using just these pieces to kind of see how it fares. It fares quite well, just for the record. It's quite good. Oh, by the way, if you're wondering why that little junk fence right there I was picking up a second ago the the actual wording was in German it's just because I've got Skylines mod which changes loads of the names to German <laughs> even in other mods which is why uh, Andrew CX mentioned that to me the other day <laughs> uh, for the un unlock some objects mod it keeps changing his his names to German and he wanted to say that it wasn't his fault anyway I thought I'd highlight that so this mod is very very cool and I remember it when it first dropped, it was, I think I first used it <clears throat> just before we started the castle. I think, I remember correctly, actually, the first video we did on the Junk Walls was actually the castle vid, which would have been in, what, February or something like that? But since then, as you can see, loads and loads and loads of new wall pieces have been added. Now, what we're going to do, my plan, me plan, by the way, for Kingsport, is it's going to be another Minuteman, H kind of, not HQ, but a Minuteman base. But I wanted to wall off the house. So the house is going to be kind of separate to the port. They're, they're going to be linked together. I've, I've got a plan, don't worry. But we're going to build the house as it's almost a slight standalone area. And then it's going to be kind of like a, a smuggler's thing. That, that's the plan. It's planned. I've, I've got it right. I'm just really bad at describing what it is. And so with the, with the little barricades that we're doing now, I also like the way she's just leaning exactly right there. It works. But with the barricades we're doing now, it's going to wall off this kind of entranceway area. It also saves me a lot of time, um, but also because I'm not really 100% sure what we're building in the rear of the house. I thought I'd wall this off as well, and then it'll look really grand and complete. This is fun. I like this. I did have a little bit of, um, because I've actually got the scrapping mod, uh, scrap that settlement enabled right now, sometimes I have a few issues when I'm trying to sink things into the ground, so it is a little bit of a bit of a nightmare. But we do get there in the end. I especially like these ones. He's got these ones here with the plywood and you've got the junk. The kind of the, the car frames rather. They do look quite nice. They do look very spiffy. So this part right here is actually with... Um, oh, by the way, the reason why I didn't show you that part is because I end up just changing that entire wall and making it connect to the house. Just for the record. So in USO, I mentioned this in my mod review, but those who haven't seen it, basically... It does take me a while to find them, by the way. Um, in... The, it's not this one, it's the other menu where he's retextured them. But basically, Andrew CX has added some entrance gateways with actual Minuteman and Brotherhood of Steel flags, and they look really, really cool. But um, this is me trying to remember where they are. They are in the retextures. 
and they look pretty grand. It's basically just a nice little way just to add a bit more Minutemen vibing to the outside of my settlement, which is always grand. I actually quite like them. Also, I love them. I'm, I remember because I haven't actually used one of these gateways from months, maybe a year. I think since... Yeah, I don't think I've used one in absolutely ages, so it's quite cool to actually use one of these again. Also, they work really well with these invisible rugs because you can just easily sink them down. As you can see, there is a little bit of sinkage, but not much, so it's all right. A little bit, an acceptable amount of sinkage. Also, here is me just very slowly opening my menu. So, this was a, an interesting supplement to do as well, because the plan I wanted to go with. Now, I was tempted at first to turn it into another, um, what are they called? What are they called? Children of Atom settlement, but I decided to hold off because it just doesn't make any sense, the fact that I've just slaughtered a load of Children of Atom and then I'm going to turn it into a Children of Atom area. The next video we'll be doing will actually be repairing the house and it's probably going to be quite a substantial build-up, I think. I think the idea is we're going to turn it so... Because you've got all those holes in the roofs and I've done it in the... What do you call it? The... Spectacle Island house, where I've kind of built out of, um, out of the seat, out of the, out of the ceiling, out of the roof, and that's what I'm going to do. So it's going to be quite a funky little house. But I need to do my barricade first. Also, these things are an absolute nightmare to glitch as well, mainly because they slightly sink into the ground, and it makes it really, really awkward to tell when they're actually sinking. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So for some reason, well actually I know the reason. So basically, because I'm using scrap that summon, and in this area over here, the way the scrap will summon mod works and why it sometimes can get in the way of using the pillar is because of it kind of like removes the item but it doesn't actually remove the item so when you're trying to sometimes sink stuff into the ground it causes the pillar to think there are like stuff in the ground so that's why this part here is a prime example of where it goes wrong you see where it just goes red randomly because it's sinking into the ground and it's touching something so you're gonna see me get really angry <laughs> We don't actually see me getting angry, but still. Oh, update, while well, we're just getting pissed off with this part, by the way, is I should, fingers crossed, have a video camera, or... You're gonna see my face soon, next month, hopefully. Um, that's the plan. I've, I've got all my, like, video in stuff planned. If it's not next month, it'll be month afterwards, but very, very, very soon, within a month, basically, because I get paid next week, so it'll be within a month in September, <laughs> if it's not August. But I'm going to be doing uh, vlogs and kind of stuff like that, which would be quite cool. I've got some ideas potentially for stuff we can do. Um, including, and this will be much further down the line, I want to start... So I play a lot of Games Workshop, but you guys have probably heard me mention in a few videos. And a couple of people have mentioned that it might be cool if we maybe do some Games Workshop style videos. I don't know what. Maybe news, or maybe if I can actually get like more of a decent camera set up, even a few games. And I'm reasonably decent at painting too. But that's all future, future, future stuff. Like that's months down the line. But basically, we're going to have a camera soon because I've almost finished my little studio. I've got my little. That stupid bitch was standing in exactly the wrong way. Um, I've got my little. <laughs> I've got my little uh, audio tiles for my walls now. I mean, I can sound hear the difference in the audio. You guys might not. You can see all the trouble I've had with this. I had to actually, like, put a, a distance rug. A distance, like a chain of rugs, basically, just so I could get these into place. Because I just couldn't rug glitch it due to the fact of the stones being in there. And also note as well, I'm well aware that you can jump over a lot of these walls, yeah? Someone's going to point out, I'm well aware you can. I'm cool with it, because it's more of a kind of a... It's, it's a barricade, but it's not really a... a an ex it, it, it's a junk barricade, right? So the idea being that it's patched up and there will be weak points. And I kind of like the weak points in a weird kind of way. Plus it made it easier to get back in and out for me when I was building. I'm just going to jump over the wall. So for example here, like you can jump over a few of these walls. But I, my logic is a defense is only as good as the people defending it. So for example, like... I wanted the walls people could shoot over, basically. You know, it's kind of that kind of... I had I had an image in my head. Basically, in my head, it was allowable to have some walls that were technically climbable. Shut up, yeah. I like them. I think it looks good. <laughs> basically, I like the way it looks, so I didn't want to make it taller. 
Maybe it's because I'm playing too much Fortnite and I like my little chest wall set up. Maybe it's that. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. But yes. I'm really, really excited just, just on a random because I did mention Games Workshop and enough of you seem to be okay with me mentioning it. But I'm super, super excited to start playing the 8th edition, by the way. I am. I was pouring through the rule book the other day and it is... It's so cool. Really excited. They've streamlined it. Some people will say simplified. I think they've streamlined it. Especially, I like the um they've gotten rid of falling back and kind of basically leadership tests and now when someone basically when, when your units fail a unit leadership chest they now have attrition so units will stay where they are but basically and i'm using quote hands here some of the units will die run away it's really really cool i love it i think it's fantastic i'm gonna be playing a dark angels force in case you're wondering if you want to follow me on reddit i have been posting my army lists it's pretty cool 1500 points very cool as you can see, anyway, but I'm just going to pick, jump between talking about 140k now and <laughs> I'm building my walls. It looks really cool. I'm really excited for this. So I'm going to have some big-ass towers and it's going to be cool. So I'm going to build up this house area first. And then I'm probably going to make, as I said, the port and the lighthouse actually kind of separate. And then we'll link them in some way. Probably just maybe a walkway or a gate. So just, yeah, I'm treating them as separate builds rather than together. I think that was maybe why I was holding up doing this for so long. Right, anyway back onto the Warhammer 40k because I'm really really excited yeah really excited I'm just so excited I don't really know what else to say actually <laughs> but the annoying thing is there's a big campaign going on right now that I'm just not gonna be able to join because I haven't even bought any models yet I'll buy my first ones for this army next month like next week basically it's gonna have a chaplain a librarian and a they're called company masters and they're interrogator chaplains really exciting really cool very cool. Those are my three characters, and then we're having... I'm actually going to tell my army list. Fuck it, because this is boring. Um, <laughs> see me do the same thing over again. But it's going to have... Uh, what was it? So I'm two... Three tactical squads, because you now have to have three troops choices. God damn it, if you want to fill up a, a, the detachments, which is a, a new rule thing they're doing for organising your armies. And then we're having a venerable general, some deathwing terminators, some... What do we call it? Company veterans. And then I'm having a razor back for the company veterans to tear around and beat shit up. And then also a rhino for one of my tactical squads. And that's it. 1,500 points. A lot of deep striking and razorbacks causing lots of headaches for people. It's going to be very, very grand. Be very cool. I'm trying to do a hammer and anvil kind of thing. Um, I don't know how well it's going to work, to be fair. I think it'll work quite well. Anyway, so walls looking cool. So as I said, I decided to treat these as two, three separate areas. So this is the house area. So it's got its own barricade. And in the next video, we're going to be building up the actual house. Another decoration, we just all the kind of like, I want to kind of, because the house is kind of falling apart. It gives me an excuse to really kind of make it look ramshackle and kind of build up the sides as kind of scaffolding and I, there's got that big hole in the roof so I might even see if I can have like a water tower sticking out of the roof but don't hold me to that because it might not fit you'll get some kind of tower and then I'm actually going to have a kind of a couple of stunty watchtowers looking out of the road because obviously this is going to be quite a it's a bit like we miss it. I don't know if it's really actually a kind of a trade hub settlement really it's kind of on the edge because <laughs> it's not really county um it's not really the uh what do we call it? The other one. Actually, I can maybe have this one going to Far Harbour, like the um, the cottage place. What's it called? The cottage up north, which I've already built. That one. Yeah, that one. I, I've forgotten its name completely. Um, but yeah, well, something like that. I don't know. It'll look cool. Lots of towers. And the... Oh, I can, make... oh, I can make the lighthouse into a shrine. I don't know. The lighthouse is the hard thing, making it look cool. Anyway, tour in a second. I did do a little couple of, a couple of bits, but not much. Here it is, so... As you can see, it looks, it, it, it works. I was, I was unsure of, because I thought maybe using just, just the junk wall mod would actually kind of make it look a little bit too artificial. Like it would just not look natural. It, it works. I, I think I do still prefer kind of building my own, like those of you who remember, I've well, seen Sanctuary, those kind of walls where I'm just kind of like actually sinking my own cars in because it's just more fun and challenging. But for those of you who want a kind of a quick fix, very quick, those tires are floating, I need to move those down a bit. But you want a kind of a quick fix, junky looking settlement wall. This works really well. It took me about 35, 40 minutes to do the whole thing. Maybe up to an hour, because I did obviously kind of scrap a few bits, but it, it works. So next video, or next Fallout 4 video, will be us doing the house. We're gonna, gotta fix that big hole, 
barricade it up and it'll look very, very cool. Also, I've got the Fortnite vids, which will be grand. And as I said, next month, I will also have, hopefully, my camera. Um, I'm getting like a, a big boom arm and I'm also getting lighting. So it should be cool. Should be cool. Next month, so you're finally going to see what my face looks like. I mean, you can just click the Instagram li link and you can see what I look like. But I mean, like, actual mobile face. And also, I will update you on my Warhammer 40k. Which be grand. Anyway, until then, you guys enjoy the rest of your weekend, and I'll talk to you lovely people soon. You take care.